Hey there, Nicole Young here from NicoleZ.com. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can take a raw landscape photograph and transform it and really give it some drama. I'll show you some of the filters I like to use with landscape photographs, including the beautiful sun rays filter, and how you can apply the filter to add a realistic beam of light coming down into your photograph. Let's go ahead and get started. Now this is a raw photo, so I'll start out by adding a filter, and I'm going to select at the very top that raw develop filter. I'm going to add a touch of warmth with the temperature slider, and after adding that, I can see there's still a little bit of green color in the image, so I'm going to take that tint slider and move it to the right just a touch. I'm also going to slightly increase the exposure. This image is a little bit dark. And I'm going to increase the shadows as well to bring out some of the detail in those dark areas. There's still a touch of a color cast in this image, so I'll go ahead and click on that Remove Color Cast filter and take the Amount slider, move it to the right until that color cast has faded away. Now let's move on to the fun stuff. I like to apply my creative edits on a separate layer, so I'll go to the Layers panel, click on that plus icon, and add a new adjustment layer. I'll start out by selecting the AI filter. The image is still a little bit dark, and the AI filter does a really good job of bringing out the brightness in the image. So I'll move that boost slider to the right until I get a nice bright effect. Next, I'm going to click on the foliage enhancer filter. There's a lot of green in the image, so I'd really like to intensify those colors. One thing about the foliage enhancer is you have to really be careful to not overdo it. If you move the amount slider too far to the right, then your photo starts to look very unrealistic. So I'm going to drop the amount slider somewhere around 20. That seems like a pretty good number. Let me toggle that on and off so I can see just that filter before and after. And that did a really great job of making that moss glow. Now I'm going to add the sun rays filter. It's in the Creative section. Let me go ahead and scroll down and find it. I'm also going to go ahead and just temporarily close the Filters catalog so I can see the entire image. The first thing I'm going to do is place my sun center. I'm going to click on the button in the sun rays filter. And then over in the image, I'm going to click and drag it. But I'm going to move it off of my screen. And I like to move it about as far as I can. If you get to where you can't move it any further, you can always go over to the X and the Y coordinates to adjust them manually. Now in the sun rays settings, I'm going to reduce the number of rays all the way to zero. That gives the filter a little bit more of a soft, big beam look. I also like to go down to the overall section and play around with the randomize. It's fun to just move the slide around to see the different types of looks you can get uh, with the rays. And I'm also going to increase the penetration to make that glow a little bit more over the trees. Now, lastly, I'm just going to make a slight adjustment to the Y coordinate to relocate that sun center to see if I can find a better spot for it. OK, I'm finished adding that sun rays filter. I'm just going to go ahead and collapse it and click on Add Filters. And now I'm going to show you a couple of the filters that I really like to use when I'm processing landscape photographs. The first is the Orton effect. I'll move the amount slider to the right. This filter does a really good job of boosting the color and the contrast. I like to call it my color pop filter. I'm also going to increase the softness just a little bit. That seems to be doing some really nice things with that sunbeam. Let me go ahead and toggle this on and off. And I think that's looking great. And now the other filter I really like to use is Image Radiance. This filter is similar to the Orton effect, but it does a better job of adding a very nice subtle glow to the photograph. Not so much that the photo looks over-processed, but just enough to really make it pop. And so there you have it. This is a photo that started out a nice composition, but with the filters in Luminar, I was really able to add some punch and some drama to the photograph.